true story about where I get my ideas from is when I was um, about nine years old, I, uh, my family was quite poor, so I always had to walk to school about half a mile. And I had to walk, as I walked up the road to school, um, I always used to have to pass this very old dark house where this woman lived. It had a broken down fence and overgrown hedge. And it had a funny smell to it as well, like a, a sort of like cats, but like something else as well. Something else not really very pleasant. Um, and we always avoided it because we were always scared of it. But I was walking to school one morning and a cat, a, a black and grey cat, ran out of the front of the, her, of the gate of this house into the road and got hit in the road by a motorcycle. And the cat was lying in the road, or it was black, grey and covered in red where it had been run over. And the old woman herself came out. She was not a very pretty woman, I must say. She had a, a had nose like a hook and a grey shawl pulled round her shoulders. And she said, oh, my, my poor Tibbles has been run over. So um, I was only nine years old, but I picked up this cat out of the road and found that the, there's a, there was a veterinary surgeon, you know, a, an, animal, an animal doctor. And I took the cat in and gave it to the surgeon, and he said, I, I think it will, it's been badly, you know, the leg's been broken, but it, it'll probably be all right, just leave it with me. So I went back to the woman with all blood down my school shirt and everything, on my school tie and everything. So I had to go home anyway. And I saw the woman there, knocked on her door in a horrible, smelly house. And I said, I think your cat's going to be all right if you go to the animal doctor you know, later on today. She said, you put her hand on my head and said, you're such a good boy. She said, I'm going to give you anything you want. What do you want to be in your life? And I said, well, I want to be a writer. So she said, any time, any time, you don't have any idea in your head, ring this telephone number. She got an off and she wrote down the number. She passed it to me. She said, ring that number. And I didn't ring that number for years. I thought nothing, years and years and years and years. But I just finished that uh, sex book and I had six days to spare and nothing to fill it. So I rang the number. We had those sort of phones in those days. And I picked it up and this voice said, a red Indian demon comes out of the neck of a white woman. I put the phone down. And so now, any time I need an idea, that's what I do. I'll give you the number later if you like.